Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We're going to be doing day 13 of the daily scripture writing, which is Lament Lamentations 325 through 33. Or it's Lamentations. I think it's Lamin. But anyway, so I'm probably butchering it, but again, let's move on. So I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. So you don't miss out on any new videos, please give this a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So you're going to start seeing little things change, like on my desk. I have like little books here of the micros. I have a little washi little thing that I'm using. I want to use up all my washi before 2021. Do you think that's going to happen? Pray for me because I have so much of it and I just want to declutter so, before I start, you know, the scripture writing, I have a giveaway going on, and you have to go to the original um, video, which is the video before this, and it's the giveaway stickers. Today was a national sticker day, so for just having everybody, you know, subscribe, share the video, comment, like, is the four main things you have to do and just be in the US. That's all you have to do to win. This is just some of them. I started doing it after the video. I started adding even more in here. So it's not just gonna be like beer or vacations. It's gonna be challenges. It's gonna be school, of course, beer because I don't drink, like no school vacations like that riding a bike I don't do none of this stuff so yeah so there's gonna be a bigger envelope full of these I'm just putting them in here for now but they are gonna change it's gonna go into a vanilla envelope ready to be shipped so yeah so be on the lookout for the giveaway it's the video before this and again you only have to subscribe share like and comment that is it. Good luck to everybody, and let's begin. So, I'm not going to butcher it. Well, let me butcher it again. Lamentations 325 through 33. I'm going to go after this, and you know how, like, if you type in the word and hit, like, what is it? Like, they pronounce the word for you. I'm going to do that when I get done, because that is a little embarrassing. <laughs> so, anyway, 325. So here is Lamentation 3, 25. The Lord is good to those who hope is in him. <clears throat> Sorry. To the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence. For the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him. And let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is unfailing love, for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. So, and that is, that's true. So how is everybody's scripture writing going? I'm going to show you after this, because I know I always interrupt the video, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. And it's another scripture writing, but I've been doing this one just on my, you know, just on my own. I don't want to, like, bury you with the videos of scripture writing. Even though, I don't think you would mind, but still. So how's everybody's scripture writing going? And how's everybody's day? It is Monday, and it is the 13th. Yeah, today's the 13th. Look how cute that's turning out. Like, I love the way it's looking. I love scripture writing. 
Okay. So I was just double checking what I just wrote. Because some of these words are double in the Bible. And I just want to make sure that I'm not rewriting the same thing unless it's, you know, there to rewrite. <clears throat> if that makes sense. So I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, the scripture writing with me. I love doing it. Believe me, I love doing it. And I love to share any crafts, anything. So, you know, like if you get a comment, oh, well, don't share this or don't share that. I'm going to share everything I can share with you. Because I think we all learn from each other. Like, it didn't just start with me. It didn't just start with you. It We learn from each other. And that's what I want, like somebody to learn from something that I've done, pass it down to their children or, you know, whoever else. And then I would love to learn from you, like anything you have to offer. So, yeah. Even if it's just about the Bible, like just offering your knowledge is great. And I love, you know... All the tips and all the, you know, like, if you send me a book, you know, like, tell me, oh, look at this one. You know, I love that because you're thinking of me and that is great. I love that. Oh my God, how many times am I going to say love in this video? But it's true. I do. And then I love each and one of yous. You are loved by planning with Maserati. And I know we don't hear that often. And that's what we should be saying to each other. So, yeah. Today was a stressful day at work. But you leave it at the hands of Jesus. And, yeah, that's what I do. Or the feet of Jesus. Not, not, I think that's how it says. Leave it at the feet of Jesus or something. Again, I am a baby Christian, so if I say something wrong, don't take it offensive or get upset. It's just I am learning myself. Like, And as I get off this video tonight, I'm going to start my first Bible study. I'm going to pick a book in the Bible to study. I'm going to journal about it, of course, because that's just who I am, I guess. I thought that was my phone. I want to make sure it's still recording. So yeah, so that's just who I am. I love to write. So any chance I get, the only thing, well, before I even say that, the only thing I don't do is journal of my life. I think if I would have started that from day one, I probably would have a book. The craziness, the just everything, you know, people go through in life, you know, relationships and all of that stuff. And the loss of a child and just everything. I probably would have a book. I see a lot of the YouTubers after, you know, they get bigger in YouTube, they start to write a book. Like, I guess it's cool in a way that you're you know showing that side of you but I don't know I don't even think it's easy to write one yeah so once I get off of here I'm gonna go and do me a little bible study I want to study a verse a day um try to memorize verses and if I uh, like I'm gonna say like if I don't do it today um, if you want to leave a comment on what book you think I should start in, in the Bible, and yeah, that would be great. Because everything helps, like everything. Anything you have to offer to tell me, like about, you know, being a... I want to say just a baby Christian because it takes a long time, I think, to grow. Because
because it took me how many years to get to what I am at now? My age? So imagine trying to grow with Christ and trying to read the Bible. And everybody tries to do it within a year. I'm the same way. Like I write it down, I'm going to read the Bible in a year. And then once I start to read, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I go to sleep. And it's not because the Bible is boring. It's because anything that I read, like if I pick up a book, I'm knocked out. Like, like my daughter. Here's a prime example. She can help cook. <clears throat> but once she is done doing one project, she's knocked out. So every time she cooks, she goes straight to sleep. It like wears her out. I don't know if that's with me with, you know, reading. But yeah, I go... And it's only since I've been older. Like, not when I was younger. I could read, of course, and, you know, I'd still be up. But now, I don't know. Like, it, it like, just puts me to sleep. And that's kind of crazy. Have you ever heard of that? Like... You used to be able to read and not go to sleep. And I don't know if it's just the age thing. But my daughter's young too. And she does it. And not just reading. Like when she's cooking, she's literally knocked out. So to me, that's a little crazy. Like you want to stay up to read the book and then you knock out. I don't know if it's just me. So leave a comment about that. This is going quickly. Like, scripture writing is awesome. Because it doesn't take a long time. And I think I don't go to sleep when I'm reading the Bible with you. It's because I'm online. Like, I'm filming. I think that's why. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. I am... I'm a work in progress. Like, yeah. And I want to thank every one of you guys who think of me and message me. You know, if you ever have anything you need me to, you know, just to talk or whatever, message me. I'm here for every single one of you. So I found this card today and it says Rejoice in Him. I'm going to show you what else I did in here. And with this, it says. Um, my gosh. Again, I was going through my D-stash. So, I love going through my stuff. It says, yeah, rejoice in him. God will bless you. Sing praise to the Lord. So, that's what I'm going to close this off with. And again, if you need prayer, if you need anything, as far as you know that is concerned... Leave it in the comments below. Don't be afraid to talk to others. You know, I would love to see you guys interact together. And it would be with the planning with Maserati family. We need a cool little name. We had one, but we never used it. So, look how cute that is. It kind of like offsets it. Well, no, because that color is like that. So, let me show you. What I was showing you right now is this. Like the color here. Kind of looks like this color. So, But that's not what I'm going to show you. If you look at this book. I found a bunch of different stuff on my stash. A stencil. Some little. I'm thinking of doing like a Dutch kind of door. Or like a, like a, like a hangout like that. So when I have my keys. I can put my key verses there. Or anything. This is cute. This is by the Happy Planner. It flips up. And I took this sticker here. From there. And if you remember we were just talking about that. Be strong and take heart. I put that there. I'm going to put a prayer for my mom. Um, what else? Okay. So this is not what I'm talking about. <clears throat> that was the beginning of it. All these yellow tabs are scripture. So I'm going to go to the yellow one. And I have this. 
So you know that I get the In Touch Ministry um, book. So I wrote down all the scriptures for the In Touch Ministry for January 20, 2020. And right now, I am on day 13, Philippians 1, 3, 11. So I've been scripture writing in blue. So, like this is just day one. Ecle class, yeah, that one. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Again, I'll have to like pronounce the word on Google. So two one through twenty three. So here's two one. It goes all the way to twelve, and then it goes all the way to twenty two. And I kind of kept the paper the same, not the paper, the washi, because it is like a lot of verses so when I see it I know all these are together here's 23 here's January 2nd so I've been loving this pen right here I don't know where I got it from I have to figure it out but this gel pen is awesome so I've been writing every day washing it putting stickers and again you don't have to do what I do you just need pen and paper and then if you want to later on decorate it or before you do it, that's great. So I'm hoping I left enough space. And here's for today I got to do. So I'm hoping I left enough space here for that. And we're only on the 13th, so I'm hoping this is enough. And then starts the next one. Well, depending on how many pages I have next, you know, last or last left she cannot talk and then here is J13 already done yeah so and again I forgot to show you this in the beginning we're focusing on purposeful pause for January 2020 you can find the list by Rachel Wujo W-O-J-O and she's headed for a different month I'm putting it for this month and yeah so every little yellow tab will be scripture and then once I'm done with January, I'll put a little sticker that says January, or a tab actually, and then, well not these kind, but you know, the regular tabs. And yeah, so then we'll start February and just keep going until this book is filled with everything that I want in here. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell. So you don't miss out on any new videos, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to check out the video before this. It's the National Sticker Day giveaway. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.